It's uh, been a while, so I thought um, what I'd show here is how I go about prepping and then priming the aluminum parts that I want to get primed. So this is the stuff that I start with. Here we've got uh, the pre-coat that I've talked about and I think the first video what I do is I take some put it take it out of that bottle and I transfer it into this spray bottle and then I can just use it as a sprayer spray it on there um, you got to make sure you spray it on good I'll show you that as I do go through the process but uh, you'll get an idea of how it works and hopefully it'll help somebody else down out down the road thanks okay here I am it's all prepped I have my uh, pre-coat that I mentioned earlier. I have all my aluminum laid out here on the table. I have, of course, a garden hose, which you'll need because you need to hose these pieces off. And then the one piece that I actually did forget I gotta go grab is I need my uh, Scotch-Brite to scrub them down. But let me get back to you in just one minute. So this is the part I forgot, Scotch-Brite. You need that, <coughs> get everything prepped up. The one thing I didn't mention earlier is this stuff is biodegradable, non-hazardous, so you don't have to worry about it. But the uh, process is pretty straightforward. You want to go and, and spray these things down pretty good. Once I get it open here, that is. Or not. Spray them down. I usually get both sides, get them good and wet. And then once they're good and wet, take your Scotch Brite and you just want to keep them roughing up. When you're finished, there should be uh, there should be nothing left on them, no marks, anything like that. Sometimes I leave the marks on them where I tag them with uh, the marker, but most of the times. So I do that, spray it down a couple of times, and, uh, and do this same thing. And you want to do it over a couple of minutes, ideally. So while they're waiting here, then I'll take this next piece, spray it down. just kind of swirling around and of course all these parts were already prepped so um, they're pretty much ready to go on other than I just needed to do the primer and these pieces come back to and now that they're ready I'll just take this hose and give them a good hosing off rinse it all off you want to make sure it's all gone and of course, you need to let these guys dry. Ideally, you don't want to be touching them again. I'll lay them here for now, but normally I have a mat laid out where I'll lay them down on a mat. But I don't have a lot of this stuff today, so I figured I'd just quickly do it this way. Pretty simple process. There's nothing magic about it. Um, just a little bit of time but I think in the long run, the time pays off. By the way, while I'm doing this video, I want to do a shout out to Hunter. Hey Hunter, how you doing? Hope you're enjoying your vacation. point here is you want to get off all the grease and oil and anything else that's on here to make sure you got a good surface and then of course the scratch bright just kind of roughs it up a little bit so this guy's good hose him down 
and you should be able to see the swirls in here. You won't be able to see them in that video, but there's some swirls in here where I've scratched it up. This is where, you know, it comes back to people are worried about scratching up the aluminum. Um, the reality is you're going to scratch it up a little bit when you, uh, when you go to, to prime it and paint it. Anyway. Okay. This guy's done. Okay, so now I'm going to mix up the epoxy primer that's going to put on. This stuff is pretty bad, so I have the full gear on, protection. I need to put on the gloves, which I haven't got on yet. So I put those on. It comes in two parts. And uh, you gotta mix the two parts together. And what I mix them to is 50 50. So, what I do here now is open these guys up. So the first thing I do is I'll stir it up. Got a stir stick and uh, you know, stir it up pretty good. Spend a couple of minutes doing this. While I'm stirring this, we'll just pause it. Stir it up. Now what I do is I've got a couple of measuring cups. I just go to Walmart, pick them up cheap because I just throw them away. I don't want to clean them or anything. So I do the 50-50. So a scoop of this guy. Make sure I got the right stuff here so that's not quite a scoop. There we go. So that's the one scoop for that guy. And then over here, I do the same. 
a little scoop of this going. Well, not quite a scoop, but a little extra. And there we have it. And now that I got both of them in here, what I do next is I'll stir this up to make sure that this is stirred pretty good. Now this is probably too small a batch for what I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put in another partial scoop so that I'm all set and I won't have to do this again. There we go, this guy. And likewise, this guy. stir and I found that once you stir it you really want to let it sit for a little bit before you use it I'm going to pour it into this air gun I just got this air gun up at Harbor Freight it wasn't very expensive but it seems to work pretty good and uh, I run it at about 55 psi so I'll let that sit for a minute while I clean everything up here and get it all out of the way Put the lids back on here momentarily. And the other thing I do here is I, uh, I run it through a filter. See if I can get out of it what, you know, any lovely bits that might be in here. So with one more last stir. And then I pour it in. Okay, and that is it. Now I'm prepped to go. So let's go spraying. Like I said, 55 PSI is what I run it at. But if you look down here, um, you know, I'll do a couple of sprays just to see how it's going. Looks like I'm having some technical difficulties. Um, I think it has to do with the temperature, but uh, the air gun was just uh, not clogging up, but it would actually harden on the outside and I'd have to wipe it off with my finger. I got it finished, but it didn't come out as clean as it normally does.
But uh, anyway, I hope this was useful. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye now.